Vegans are the most hateful and spiteful to their own kind. In the recent examples of vegans no longer being able to follow a plant-based diet for health concerns, the response from the vegan community is so overwhelmingly negative, it really exposes their cult-like and illogical behavior. It doesn't matter what the conditions of the person are, it does not matter how blatantly obvious that within days of consuming animal foods, the person immediately feels better. In their minds, there was always a solution, staying on the plant-based diet and doing it in a different way. Thankfully, the young couple we're about to look at here found out through nature, through pregnancy, and the woman's natural biological urges for animal foods, that maybe a vegan diet isn't the best for everyone. Let's see what they have to say and how the vegan community responds. So we have a huge change in our life and it's not just a baby arriving, but we recently decided to start incorporating some animal products into our diet. And this was a huge decision for us. He's been plant-based for yeah, a, decade a decade almost. Ten years. And I have for almost five years. Mm -hmm. And it worked for us for some time, but over the last few months mm. to a year or so, it's been pretty obvious to us that it's not working so well anymore, being strictly vegan. Um, Plant-based can denote just eating mostly plants, which is what we are now. We eat mostly plants, but... We're supplementing with some organ meats, some eggs, some ghee. sardines, ghee, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Which is gonna be a shock to a lot of our viewers. Yeah. And we debated a lot <laughs> whether or not to even say this, so be gentle with us. But uh, it's yeah. been about, for me, about three months, uh, maybe two and a half. No, yeah, it's th it's been three, three now. Three months, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I initiated it because of a close friend of mine who made a switch and noticed dramatic improvements um, physically. But for me, the things that I noticed were all mental. I play classical piano and yeah. sight reading music has always been one of the most challenging intellectual things I've ever had to do. And I noticed immediate improvements, like within days, my brain felt like it was working better. And I like to consider myself a very responsible vegan, or was. Uh, I had all the supplements, DHA, multivitamin. I would take mushroom and greens powders, various ones, and try to eat a really nutritious and wholesome diet. If you go back and watch some of the first videos I made on this channel, like a year or over a year ago, I was complaining so much and like doing raw veganism and just eating fruit, trying to heal my digestive system. And uh, pregnancy helped heal my digestive system a lot too. But mm -hmm. also since I started incorporating meat and yeah, just some animal products, it's actually been the opposite of what I always told myself, um, which was that animal products would make it worse. But my digestion is on point right now and I feel amazing i feel really nourished and we're not really making this video to convince you to, no. to do anything because i have we're so many friends obviously being vegan for a decade like i made so many amazing friends people that we love both of us yeah and we really care about and really, really support respect and support their decision their message and, and their yeah. conviction and yeah um we you know we don't want to upset anyone um, if if it's working for them that's great continue down that path and uh, it just became something that became more obvious and clear that we had to, to address it because we're often lumped into this category of being like vegan parents and uh, yeah that's and something I just that don't, bothers you a little bit so yeah I don't want to be labeled as that anymore There's a lot and of young women that want to have a baby and yeah, think that that's have a vegan just pregnancy have a vegan family. works for everybody and it doesn't, it doesn't. necessarily it so. doesn't it doesn't have to be the ideal and i want i feel really called to share yeah. this and um to be honest and authentic about our lifestyle switch now because i don't want to lead any other mothers astray and mm -hmm. thinking that 
I'm a vegan and that that's the ideal because there's so much out there on the internet with good intention and a beautiful message but just with the nature of social media it can make us and it did make me feel like a vegan pregnancy and having a vegan family is the highest of highs the ideal the optimal like the best thing on all levels mm -hmm. and it's just so clear to me now that it's not it's not for everyone it is for some people mm -hmm. but it's not for everyone and throughout my pregnancy i did have a vegan pregnancy well i had eggs twice and some ghee during my pregnancy like a little bit barely anything barely any mm -hmm. um but during my pregnancy i did crave those things a lot i craved mm -hmm eggs i craved butter and ghee i craved meat and fish and i didn't eat those things but in hindsight i you know i wish that i had listened to my body and not judged myself for what i felt like my body needed mm. nourishment from and gosh we could talk about this for so long mm -hmm. about why it's okay and um, why I didn't need to judge myself. Bridget is perfectly healthy and mm. I'm so grateful for that. I had reserves in my body from growing up eating animal products and lots of good fats and things. Um, but she took all of my protein so much. She took so much from me mm. and she's super healthy and beautiful because of that. Yeah. yeah, it just wasn't working anymore. So this is our truth. This is where we're at. Yeah. And I really wanted to share this. No way. I am heartbroken by you. Don't ask us to practice kindness when you are not. And now that you're a mother, I thought you would relate more to not taking from the body of another mother in any form, meat or milk or egg. This brings me so much sadness. The first response. So you would rather be unhealthy and unwell than continue the way she is going? Veganism does not work for everyone. Don't get it twisted. Megan is beautiful and kind soul. Her teaching kindness has nothing to do with her not being fully vegan anymore. The second response. Sending lots of love to you guys. But taking life and freedom away from sentient beings who have souls and can feel pain like you is in no way spiritual. It's the opposite. It's discounted to follow sentient species who share the planet with us. They are not here for privileged people like us who have the choice to choose an option that caused the least amount of harm. And Evan, you're telling us to be gentle with you guys, yet consuming animal products you're doing the exact opposite to the animals. Treat others how you want to be treated. Mental and physical health is important. I don't blame you for wanting to improve your health, but there are plant-based ways that you might have not tried to fix areas that are lacking. I'm not angry at you guys. I'm just sad and want to share my thoughts. Another couple quits orthorexia. Said that veganism is blamed for their disordered eating again. Veganism is not a diet. Why is this so hard to understand for many? This is a very typical response we see from the vegan community. Insistence in the health of a plant-based diet. They are always so right and confident that because a diet works for them at their point in their life, that it applies to anyone across all of these scopes. Time and time again, we have seen this and we will continue to see this until veganism fades into obscurity. There will be a point in time where anyone who continues a vegan way of living will be viewed at as a denier of the overwhelming negative evidence and propaganda that once pushed a vegan diet. Whether they realize it's not the healthiest diet for them, that it's not actually better for the environment, that it's not better from a moral or ethical standpoint. Will they ever realize these things? I don't know. Is it ever going to happen? One thing's for certain is that the negative health implications of a vegan diet show themselves drastically compared to anything we've seen in the past. Unfortunately for this couple, despite how blatantly obvious it was that their health immediately improved after incorporating animal products, they're still in denial. These people are so brainwashed, they will never see the light until something drastic happens to them. And even then, I'm sure there are many, many vegans and vegetarians who have had countless miscarriages, so many health problems, and still cannot open their eyes to the necessity of animal foods in the diet. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. 
you guys want to check out my Amazon shop, I do have a bunch of products on there that I use every day. If you guys want to take a look at my Patreon, I got a little story about me, my personal life, what I do. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and if you guys would like to reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation in regards to optimizing the nutrient density of your diet, feel free to send me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com, or contact me through the form on my website.